You can count on my steel. Hey everybody, welcome to another Evil Dead guide. Today we're going to walk through mission 2 of Evil Dead the game which will allow you to unlock the funeral attire but more importantly it's going to get you to more important missions with better rewards. So let's just get right to it. So in mission 2 you're going to go around the map and find 5 bottles of Wiseman's Brew. These are beer bottles which are located uh, at certain spots around the map and um, it doesn't matter what order you get them in but you just need to collect 5 and then you're done. So this is the map here. Your starting location already has one bottle and you can see the uh, other four bottles are located around the map. I recommend starting at Royal Oak Cemetery just up the street and working your way clockwise. It's systematic and it's easy to do. Alright, here we are at the starting location where there are no enemies. Head into the main building. You're going to find a boomstick, amulet and champs cola. Grab all three of these. And of course, you're going to have the shovel, which is going to be your weapon you throughout this, this uh, entire match. Puncher. The shovel is very good balanced bar damage, meaning when you hit somebody, it's going to stagger them and allow you to do a finisher. And remember, when you're locked in a finisher, you're invulnerable to damage. So um, it's, it's a very good weapon. So here's your first bottle. You're going to grab that. Uh, take your time. Look around the map to get your bearings. And like I said, we're going to head up to Royal Oak Cemetery just up the street to start. Make sure you grab all these uh, matchsticks because it, while you're running from place to place in the forest, your fear may go up and you may need to reduce it at the fireplaces. Now at Royal Oak Cemetery coming up, you're going to have one elite unit to fight. Uh, and that's it. You're going to run into a couple of deadites on the way there. Just dispatch them with your shovel and your handgun and you should be good to go. Keep traveling up the road and you'll hit the cemetery. Now in the cemetery, take your time and look around before picking up the bottle to find ammunition, to find weapons which you may need. You have a pistol here, you have a shotgun here and you have a crossbow here. Whatever suits your fancy, just pick whatever you want. And also the, the good thing is you can pick something, utilize it, finish it off in this fight and then go back to your original weapon. So you have lots of options and that's the good thing about the cemetery. Remember, I, I will eventually switch to that pistol after this fight. Uh -huh. Where I'm just going to use my whole boomstick. Once you pick up the bottle, as you see there, it's going to spawn the elite unit. And uh, this cemetery, uh, as long as you stay close to the center, you should be able to dodge him pretty easily. If you end up uh, blocking yourself in the corner, as you see me do uh, sometimes during this fight, you end up getting hit. And also don't dodge too early, wait for the swing, I'll then dodge. The now it's a good time to talk a little bit about the combat in this game. There are two tricks you can use. One is as soon as you swing and hit somebody, before waiting for the cooldown animation of your swing, you can quickly tap reload and it will cause the animation to cancel. So swing, hit, as soon as it connects, hit reload and you'll be ready to go again. The second thing you do can do is as soon as you swing and hit, you can immediately aim and shoot. So swing, hit, shoot immediately. And all this speeds up the damage dealing. Alright, so once you take the guy down, like I said, look at your health, look at your shield, take a cola, uh, replenish your shield, switch your weapon if you want. I actually switch to the pistol and get ready to move on to the next location, which is going to be dead end. Now in between Royal Oak Cemetery and Dead End, as you see in the mini-map here, there's going to be a little shed right right where I'm uh, indicating. And in this shed, you want to stop over, get another cola, get some matches. Make sure you decrease your fear uh, before entering Dead End. And now in Dead End, uh, there are lots of items to pick up. Amulets, colas, and the I'm going to this house, as you see in the mini-map here, the first house on the right. Inside this house is going to be an amulet. You just pick that up. But be careful, all these things are, uh, am you know, the traps, portals set for all these um, items. So just be ready to do combat. So this is the first house on the right. As soon as you enter, they then you're going to get your amulet and some ammunition there. Again, don't be afraid to go fight first, then come for these items. But I just wanted to show you where they were located. Now in the second house, uh, right up the street from the first one, you're going to find uh, some colas. 
There's one on the ground floor and one on the second floor. Again, remember if uh, if uh, you have enough health, like you see me do here, don't waste the cola. I'm about to waste this cola in order to take the new one because I was too lazy to go back. But I would suggest if you have enough room, go and start the fight, then come back to grab it later. Uh, you might run into a couple of deadites outside and the beer bottle is on the back of this pickup truck. As soon as you grab it, you're going to start a wave of 10 deadites coming onto you. Again, you have a shotgun here. You should have enough ammunition. So go ahead and grab it. Now, remember, when you were in the cemetery earlier, be sure to grab all the ammunition lying around. Because you, you do hold on to that ammunition. So when you switch weapons, you already have enough ammo in your gun. So whenever you see ammunition anywhere, even if you don't have that weapon, just pick it up because you're going to need it when you switch. Uh, this is a very open area. You have plenty of room to dodge. Use your shotgun, uh, use your shovel uh, whenever you're in close qu quarters. But my suggestion is just, you know, use the shotgun to the best of your uh, ability whenever you can and just take down these enemies fast. Eventually, you're going to get to the last one. Take them out. Look at your health again. Look at your shields and replenish as needed. Go back into the house to grab more if you need to. But other than the first two houses which I showed you, the other houses didn't have anything for me. So I wouldn't waste time um, searching all the others. Re make sure you reduce your fear. The next area we're going to go to is Shockley Auto. Where you're going to have a single tough um, elite unit and a couple of deadites on the outside. Take out the deadites on the outside first. Uh, be careful because some of them just stealth up on you. Like that. Now, this elite unit in this building is bugged. At least for me it was. So, he's going to be stuck behind the counter. Anybody need a light? <laughs> and I'd say, you know what? You just got to get through this mission. So, use the bug. So, go ham. Shoot him down. Be very liberal with the ammunition. Again, you can switch weapons later if you need to. And there you go. If, however, it's not bugged anymore and he chases you, make sure you go outside to that area, um, right outside this building where you can dodge easily. Now, I went upstairs and grabbed the cola first before picking up the bottle because I didn't know if picking up the bottle would initiate another that's wave of enemies. Yet. So that's why I did that. Now for the final bottle, it's going to be located um, in the now altar near out. Clara's Pond. And uh, I'm showing you in the minimap here exactly where Anybody it is. <laughs> I got a Reduce my fear before heading over there at this fireplace. And then head right over. As soon as you grab that um, bottle, it's going to initiate a one wave of enemies. There is a couple of elites, I think, in there. Uh -huh. um, avoid this tree, clearly. Use your range weapons liberally at this point because you know your shovel is a pretty strong weapon what with the balance bar damage and things like that. So don't 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 struggle. So you saw there is an example of me hitting with the shovel and quickly switching to the gun to get more damage in. Very very liberal with the with the handgun. Yep, another example of that. So just take your time, go through these enemies, and once you're done with uh, all nine of these, the mission ends and you succeeded. By this point, you should be pretty used to this already. Now, this is a pretty easy mission, um, all things considered. Pretty straightforward. You should be able to get it on the first try. But the reason why we want to finish this is because we need to get to the following missions, all of which allow you to unlock new characters. And they are all considerably more difficult than this one. So there you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, walkthrough. Do consider uh, giving me a like and subscribe on this video. It really helps me out. Uh, whenever I'm on Twitch, please feel free to swing by and say hi. We'd love, really love to have you. Everybody's welcome. And finally, if you're a fan of the game, please be sure to join the Discord uh, for Evil Dead the game down below. You're going to find tons of people. We're going to give you a lot of advice and uh, find people to play with as well. So I hope you enjoyed the guide and take care. See you next time.